help you. So now, we, so far we see the, the, the need for a renewed mind. A mind that thinks like Christ. So we can please God. We need to have a mind that knows. <laughs> oh God. A mind that knows we must make our request be known. Unto God. And he will see to it. That our request be furnished yes. unto us. I want to tell you about the man of faith <laughs> called Abraham. Yes. The children speak about that in the Sunday school. Yes. But I just want to run a little bit. A little, little bit. Can I run a little bit across to you? Yes. This man of faith in Romans chapter 4. Verse 19 to 22. And be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Am I reading it right? You're positive? Uh, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. And therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Oh God have mercy, have mercy. We're going to have to train our mind. We must train our mind to our faith in God. Because only God kind of faith works. It works to a full extent. When we have faith in God, God promised. In, in Hebrew 11 and verse 6. To bless us. He says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must. You have to go to the world again, must. Be obligated mm -hmm. to the word of faith. You must operate. You must. Your attitude must be must. If you want to receive anything, you must operate the attitude yes. of must. What God said, that's what must. Amen. You must believe Amen. that God is God. Amen. And that is a reward huh, yes. of them that diligently seek Him. I say you must. Believe. believe. Abraham must. Yes. Yes. He already yes. must yes. attitude. Yes. Amen. And become the father yes. of faith. Yes. Must believe. Hallelujah. That's the word. I'm gonna give you a story. You will see a man with real strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith in God. By which he, we need to adapt to his man. With his integrity. We need to look into it. He has a mind. A made up mind. To serve God. To believe God no matter what it is. And God called him righteous. Abraham learned the heart of controlling his thought. To the point of. Deep faith in God. Yes. Oh, I'm talking to you. Yes. He learned the heart of controlling his mind to the extent that God take notice. Yes. Am I right? Yes. God took notice. The word says in verse 19, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, no dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Oh God, that's what I talk. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, at the age of seventy-five, a mom was still kicking. 
Yeah, that's one called Ishmael. Yes. But 25 years later, he need help. <laughs> he needed to walk, he walk and talk, he talk. <laughs> Yet God renewed the promise to Abraham at age 100. Yes. And began to kick again. Yes. <laughs> oh God. My wife just said, a man a hundred years will have been baby. <laughs> Listen, this is awesome. And I really want you to take it in. In Genesis 17, in verse 15, And God said unto Abraham, Of a Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah, shall her name be. And I will bless her and give thee a son out of her. Yeah, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed. Huh? I mean, anybody that laughs at the age. <laughs> and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety? Years old, beer? Mm. Question. <laughs> and Abraham said unto God, Who that Ishmael might live before thee? And God says, Sarah thy, oh, oh, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed. Jesus Christ after him. Wow. It's a seed, right? Mm -hmm. So at this age, Abraham really need a miracle from God. Yes. And God renewed his promise to Abraham. And then because Abraham didn't stagger yes, with unbelief. Yes. His mind was sown. Yes, Believing God to give him strength to kick again. And so the Bible says so. In verse 20. And that's why Ishmael I have heard thee. Listen, listen. We go, when you go back to Romans chapter 4. And verse 19. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. No, dead. With about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. I hope you're staying with me because yes. I know you're getting boring, but that's all right. Oh, Jesus. This is awesome. Here we see a man in the mood of praise. Anybody would have to praise at that. Yes, sir. The very thing that man hates the most happened to him. Yes, right. <laughs> he just could not handle the, the situation properly. But God, in all his wisdom, yes. make him a promise. Amen. And at age 100, he started to kick again. Right. <laughs> Something special happened to him from God. Yes. God said, listen, we still promise you something, I'll give it to you. Yes, sir. Yes. And Abraham began a prayer service. Yes, right. He began to give God some glory. Yes, he magnified the Lord yes. with his whole heart. Yes. He gave God glory with his might. Yes. Yes. He treated him for a certain love. Yes, and then he started to give God some maximum yes. praise. And any man with certain age you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he began to praise the Most High God with all that he was, was within him. He began to shout with the voice of triumph. 
in the plain of Mary, dear Saddam. He praised the Lord because <laughs> he gained his manhood back. This man, Abraham, threw in the towel and got thrown back at him at 100. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord your praise in you. God is able. Uh, he gave up and threw the towel in. And 25 years after, God picked up my child and threw it back to him. This same Abraham was still operating eight cylinder, firing like a boost of Cadillac engine. Yeah? At 100. But you know, as I always say, when God gives you something, don't take it back. You understand what I'm saying? And I keep on studying. And I, when I reach in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 1, oh God, something great happened over there. This man began to start kick again. In verse 32, chapter 1, verse 32. Another son of Keturah, Abraham's concubine. Woo! <laughs> she bears some children, Zimram and Koshan and Midan and Midian and Ishabak and Shu. I forgot that that is. And the sons of. Listen, this man's a kick again. Yes. After we hit 100. You think he just have. Isaac? No, no, he has some children after that. Yeah. And the other mother back him, he was a concubine after. Yeah. His wife died. Yeah. When God gives you something, don't take it back. Yeah. Before I take it back, he has more to it. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. This is why we need to trust him. Yes. But we need to have the mind of Christ. This, so this is showing that when you praise God, yes. when you serve up praises, blessing will come down. Come down. Hallelujah. Right. This man Abraham have total faith in yes. God, God to renew his strength. Amen. Yes. But if his mind wasn't renewed, he ain't going no place. He knew that God is able, praise the Lord, to live up to his words. And he stuck a knot yes. with unbelief. Yes, he just have a written the office of must. Yes. So now that we see, let us renew our mind and total trust in God. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Let us give God word or total attention. Let us give God's word total respect. Total. Yes, sir. Yes. Let us give in yes. to the teaching of God's Holy Spirit. Amen. We must forsake our ways and give full heed to the word and the ways of God. Yes. Amen. We are told to let this kind of mind be in us. The Bible says in Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. Yes. And yes, Abraham has that mind to believe. And you and I can have it too. If we trust God, like Abraham did. One time to trust in Jesus is all that really matters. And your life will never be the same. If you don't believe the song, stop singing it. If you don't believe the song, stop singing it. Trust in Jesus is all that really matters. And your life will not be the same. And for us to do this, we have to have the mind of Christ. We have to renew our mind to think like Jesus thinks. We have to let go of the whole way. And, and, oh, God. 
Yes. 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 According to the new man. Yes. You must remember we are born again. Yes. And in Christ we are newborn babes. Yes. Holding on to eternal life. Yes. So must allow the new creature. A creation of God. To do new creative things. Yes. We got to acknowledge God. We are told to let go of worldliness. We are told not to be conformed to the ways of the world. But we must transform by the renewing of our mind. We are called to have a new mindset in Christ. So let us seek out to renew our mind God's way. Let us go to the Lord for a transplant mind. Yes. Because by a mind transplant, we will also be able to prove yes. what is good. Yes. And we will learn the perfect will of God yes. to trust Him and obey Him. Yes. Yes. We will learn how to be transformed yes. by the renewing of our mind. Yes. And so with a renewed mind, We'll prove what is that good to God. Yes. With a renewed mind, we'll prove what's acceptable yes. to God. Yes. 